Right, so this is a tutorial on how to build a screen housing for a Raspberry Pi 7 inch screen. It rotates. Um, as you can see, you can brand it whatever name you want on top. I've done Element 14 because they were kind enough to send me this screen for free uh, as part of a road test. It's got the Aquaponics logo, which is somewhere I work. And what I like about it is the fact that it will move, all cut out of one laser cut sheet. And you've got quick links here, so this this part of the screen has actually still got touch under it, so you sh we will be able to have these buttons as hot links, so you could have that logo as home, Google, email, whatever you want. And with the Pi 3 coming out this week, there's going to be some serious um, increase in speed. So if you just take a look at the back, you've got the Pi. It's open source hardware. Um, you can download it from microratcliffe.com. And there's a fan, an extra fan bit here. So you'll need some PCB standoffs and a 30mm fan, which will help you run keep the pie cool. Uh, overall it's all laser cut, it all moves, it all fits together quite nicely I'll show you how to mould it. Right so this is the pie case, if you get the ink skate file and open it you've got the front, the back, the middle, you've also got a Pi Zero case in the middle that Alan made. Um, there'll be one without the brand and if you don't want all the aquaponics logos uh, in the same, just read the readme. Uh, so we buttered it up and put it in a PDF, so let's click print and we'll send that off to the printer. Right, so we've shipped that to the printer. Uh, so you've got a laser cutter. Um, this one's quite a nice one. Um, so if you've not got access to a free uh, a laser cutter, try googling Fab Lab, Hackerspace. If you live in a city, there will be one of these for you to use in the city somewhere. So let's click go. You've just cut the design, you've got it here in front of, you've got your screen, take your USB drives out your screen. Right, let's remove the bits that we... Let's remove the case. These bits aren't needed for the screen but they're a Pi Zero case, built by Alan, uh, but I don't like wasting space so they're in this. You got two of them, so let's chuck them to the side. Let's start by making the base. Get this piece with the knobs on the end. These two pieces. And they just clip on like that. So that you've got your base. This goes on the bottom of your base for when you screw it down to something. Get your screen. We need to start with this one. Start with that one. Then you want to get your front one. Sorry, that one. <laughs> then that one. 
Then you want the side of the screen where the touch is a little bit longer, you can see on the back just there. And that goes on that side. Now you've got your four bolts. Just put one through each corner, don't put the ends on just yet. Right, now you're ready to put your back on. So get your back. There we go, put the screws on the back. There you go, you got your screen. Next up, get your base. Now you don't want these too tight, so get one of your off cuts. You'll have a couple of these pieces knocking about. So what you want to do is just push one of these halfway through the hole. So there we go. You've got your screen powered up. You just want to tighten these screws up now. You can put your screws through the other holes. Um, and there you go. Nice little screen. Now, this one's branded with Element 14 because Element 14 were kind enough to send me this screen out to play around with. So thanks, Dev, and all the other guys at Element 14. Um, it's open source, so you can cut this yourself. And the other bits that you've got here are a case for a Pi Zero, which um, Alan kindly made for the extra space that I had cut over. Um, don't forget to like the page on Element 14 and watch my other videos.